All right, so the worst has happened here. I uh, got my derailleur stuck in my wheel. So we are going to uh, be t removing the derailleur as it's bent now and replacing the derailleur hanger as well as the derailleur. So I'm gonna walk you guys how to, uh, how to go through this and how to get everything set up so that uh, hopefully uh, this doesn't happen to you, but if it does, you can uh, get yourself out on the trail a little quicker. As you can see, I've uh, got some damage here. The derailleur pulley went right into the wheel backwards in terms of this was pushed out in that manner and I uh, got stuck into my spokes and bent the derailleur as well as the derailleur hanger. Flatten? Oh, derail stick in the derailleur. Oh, nice work. To start with, we are going to get rid of this old derailleur cable and get that completely off the bike. Uh, there's no need for that to be chilling there. I have now removed the derailleur cable as well as the housing. So we'll just leave that aside for the time being. Now what we're going to do is replace that cable because I may as well get a new one while we're doing this. So in order to get the, uh, the derailleur off, we have to remove the chain. And if you don't have a chain tool to remove the quick link, this is just something that I uh, read about in a magazine a few years ago where you take a old spoke, you bend it to release tension, you wrap the, miss the, uh, the two links with a... Uh, old derailleur cable and pull and twist and it should pop off. Let's give it a shot. There it goes. <clears throat> like butter. And now we're just going to simply remove the chain from the bike. We're going to reuse that in a bit. Now something to keep in mind too is that this derailleur, although it's bent, still has pulleys, cages, uh, screws, Throw that in the toolbox. You never know when you're going to need it. Or just huck it on the ground. Who gives a shit, right? Now that the wheel is off, the derailleur is off, we're going to head, go ahead and take this 2.5mm on the outside out, making sure to keep it as you need it to install the new derailleur hanger. So we're going to get that off, as well as on the inside. There's another two and a half mil. Then go ahead and half install the back piece and get that set up where it needs to go. It should all sit nice and flush. Nice and tight. Both sides. That's nice and tight. That is not going anywhere. We're replacing this with the Shimano XT, the same derailleur that came on it. Uh, good value, good price, good shifting. A uh, little bit soft apparently on the durability, but I'm going to give it another shot. Go ahead and get her on. Screw it in. Make sure it's nice and clean and greased. And toit. Go ahead and get that cable where it needs to go. I think this one's using a 4 mil. Alright, derailleur's on, derailleur hanger's on, and we are ready to throw the chain back on and uh, fine tune the shifting. Should be fun. And there we have it, we're good to go. Brand new derailleur, brand new derailleur hanger, ready for the trail. Thanks for stopping by.